Hi, welcome to Tempest TV. My name is Michelle Johnson and I'm here with chefs Chris Galvin and Bryn Williams who are here to tell us all about the brand new hospitality suite at the new Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. I'm Chef Patron of Galvin Restaurants along with my brother Jeff. Yeah, we're very much family, family run restaurant. My sons and daughters all come into the business. It's a bit of a dream come true for me to be able to, to cook at a, a club I really love. And Bryn, obviously Chris is a Tottenham Hotspurs fan, but you don't sound like a local boy yourself. Could you tell me how you came well, to be part of the project? I'm not a long life um, Tottenham fan, that's very true. Um, I've been cooking and living in North London for the last 10 years. I think for me as a sports fan and being a professional chef, it just goes hand in hand. What is the thing you're most excited about for On4 and the hospitality suite here at Tottenham Hotspurs? Oh gosh, that's a big question. Yeah, I think for me, right. <laughs> I think it's a world beater. I think what Tottenham have created here, the H Club and on four, you know, to have four different chefs on there on a rotating, different game, different cuisines, in a fantastic new stadium. They're playing amazing football, and I think having to have an amazing cuisine in that environment in a stadium, in one of the best stadiums going up in, in the world at the moment. What's not to like? Yeah, you know, if you're a food fan and a footy fan, Tottenham's a place to be. If there's things to do, if there's great food to eat, if there's great cocktails, great drinks and great ambience, then it's a day out. And so that's it's purely being part of creating that, that experience. So could you tell us about how the restaurants are going to work? Because obviously when you come to a uh, football match, you're really looking for an experience as opposed to necessarily fine dining. So how is it all going to work? So I think what Tottenham are doing is they're creating an environment that you are in control as a customer. The quality of the food wants to mimic the quality of the football on the pitch, which that's going to be a bit of a tall order at the moment because Tottenham are playing really well. So that's what we want to do. I think when you start writing the menus, you, when the design starts coming in, when you start putting the furniture in, that's when you start to get a feel mm. of the environment. And obviously there are four chefs rotating as part of On4. Were you all fans and admirers of each other or is there a little bit of friendly rivalry going on behind the scenes? Well, there's a lot of admiration and a lot of respect, obviously, for Rue family, for Bryn. Competitive, I guess, yeah, we're always competitive. We're always, uh, we're always out to exceed customers' expectations. And so, um, but really the focus is on the plate. As, as Bryn said many times now, it's um, just, just important that we deliver on the day. Chris, you mentioned that owning a restaurant and actually the business of chefing has changed dramatically in the last few years. Could you give us some examples of how the business sense works now? So most of my life as a chef was just focused on cooking, just uh, working in the kitchen. But in the last 10, 15 years, we've had to change a lot. We've had to become accountants. We've had to become human resources. We've had to become uh, marketing. We've had to become... Uh, very good at social media as well. But we're always willing to change, and I think it's in, your, in our DNA as a chef to always try and improve and change and go with, it, with modern flows and techniques and cooking styles. And that will just bring us on to the stadium food. Who do you think 10 years ago you'd be had an opportunity to go and cook in a stadium? Because years ago it was a burger and chips and they weren't great either. Is that a case of that we're better informed as customers or that we have better access to a different range of food? Massively, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm a huge believer in media, what media has brought to customers. Your picture's out there and uh, people will take it, they'll pull it apart, it'll be copied. So you've got to be better than you were yesterday.